Hello everyone, my name is Nobutu Mutau and I am a research coordinator at the Center for Infectious Disease Research in Zambia. I will be presenting our formative research findings on identifying determinants to soil connection uptake in Osaka, Zambia. This work was funded by the World Bank and was implemented in collaboration with the London School of Hygiene and Tropical Medicine and Osaka Water Supply and Sanitation Company. I will run you through the background of this work, the methods that we use, our key findings, and the conclusions. So the Lusaka Water Supply and Sanitation Company, LWSC, is the commercial water utility that provides water and sanitation services to Lusaka province in Zambia. Through its Lusaka Sanitation Program, it provides three sanitation services, and these are on-site sanitation, because large management of the same and sewer connections. However, since March 2020, the company saw a reduction in demand for sanitation services among its customers. Our study objective was to explore the enablers and the barriers for soil connections among customers um, during the COVID-19 pandemic between February and December 2021. So our study was conducted in two peri-urban communities, Chaisa and Emmersdale, and these communities were specifically selected because um, they were based on the Lusaka sanitation program areas and this was where a decline in the demand for sanitation services was noted. Our target population was homeowners and landlords that were household heads and aged 18 years and above. Um, our study used a mixed methods approach and for our quantitative assessment, we administered 150 surveys with questions centered on social demographics, their knowledge of uh, sewer connections, their willingness to connect to a sewer line, and the behavior determinants for connecting to a soil line. For our qualitative assessment, we um, conducted 12 in-depth interviews to further understand their biggest fears for connecting to a soil connection, their willingness to pay for a soil connection, their preferred sanitation facility, and their underlying motives for connecting to a soil line. We lastly conducted six key informant interviews with customers that had uh, successfully connected to a soil line to identify their underlying motives for having a soil connection. So what were our key findings? Of the total 144 uh, participants, 81% stated that they knew about the soil connection services offered by the company. However, we had 61% that agreed that they did not have enough information about the soil connection services offered by the company. And this was also seen with a 21% that stated that they had no knowledge at all of the sewer connection services that were offered by the company. With regards to the behavior determinants for having a sewer connection, um, the individual drivers for having a sewer connection were the perceived health benefits and the convenience and affordability in installation and maintenance costs, service costs with having a sewer connection. The social drivers to having a soil connection was the perceived social status and the belief that soil connections work for others in their communities. And lastly, the structural drivers for having a soil connection was the provision of sufficient information and the reassurance of consistent water supply and maintenance services from the Osaka Water Sanitation and Supply Company. We went on to ask customers whether COVID-19 affected their willingness to pay for soil connection. And the majority, both males and females, stated that COVID-19 did not affect them. However, we did notice that 24% of the males and 29% of the females stated that COVID-19 had indeed reduced their income and their willingness to connect to the soil line. From our qualitative data, we presented customers with five personas, comfort, cost, affiliation, um, trust, and the lack of information. We asked them to select the persona which best explained their reason for not connecting to the soil line. And we followed these up with open-ended questions and asked them to provide recommendations to explain the barrier or to overcome the barrier. Cost and trust were the two most common reasons that hindered customers from connecting to a soil line. And one of the participants that selected the cost persona had this to say on the left. So in conclusion, we saw that the majority appreciated a soil connection or the value of soil connection. And while most incomes were reduced due to COVID, it was not the main reason for why we didn't connect the soil line. And therefore, we also noted that there was a lack of comprehensive information about soil connections, especially on its cost. 
which would need to be addressed through targeted advertising. And lastly, although Lusaka Water and Surge was trusted in Chaisa and Emmersdale, customers didn't have confidence in them to provide prompt and quality service provision for them to connect to the swelling. Um, thank you for listening.